Hi, my name is Reverend Edwin Guy, and I'm the pastor of Victory Christian Tabernacle and Galilee Baptist Church in Brooklyn, New York. This uh, particular uh, video, uh, which is entitled What It Took to Get Him, It Takes to Keep Him, uh, is so uh, important. Uh, it, it, it speaks to all of our hearts and minds instinctively. But it's one thing to just simply agree with the, uh, with the saying, with the, with the expression. It's another thing to actively do it. And so uh, I would encourage you um, to not just simply look at the, the title and, and say, oh, yeah, that's true. But to actually spend some time looking at what you used to do and how you used to do it and look at what you're doing now and and see if they are uh, identical or close to identical. And if not, then get back to it. It works hand in hand uh, with the uh, with the video. Uh, are you still on your honeymoon? Uh, the fact of the matter is that what it took to get them, it takes to keep them. And uh, I, I be clear uh, that this is not uh, these videos and this one is as well is not geared to one or the other. It's geared towards both. In other words, this is not a, a, uh, a counsel for the man uh, or for the woman. It's counsel for both. It is uh, important that both, uh, uh, both uh, spouses or uh, both people in the relationship uh, be uh, mindful that what it took to get them, it takes to keep them. Uh, uh, and uh, in particular, those little things, which I think is so vitally important. First of all, some of the big things as well, but I, I, would, I would suggest to you that though it might be some of the big things, I would suggest that it's all or very close to all of the little things that you used to do. But whether you realize it or not, or whether they say it or not, those things still matter to your spouse. They still matter uh, to your uh, 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 fiancé. And it, those things uh, can make all the difference in making uh, the relationship or keeping the relationship fresh. Uh, it's important that uh, you keep in mind that uh, in order to keep that smile on her face or to keep that smile on his face, I I need to do the things that made them smile. Uh, so if I, uh, if you on occasion uh, brought home uh, some flowers, or if you out of nowhere uh, just said, um, "Hey, let's uh, let's go to a movie or let's go out to dinner," without it being a special occasion or without it being some special uh, event, uh, those things uh, really cemented. Uh, uh, it, the, the, uh, or help to cement uh, their heart, uh, it helped you to gain their heart and, and, uh, and vice versa. Uh, it, there might be some things that uh, you, as you ponder this particular video, you may, and I pray that you do, you think back and you say, you know, I used to, you're right, I used to do this. I used to uh, uh, surprise him with his, uh, with a, a certain type of uh, 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 meal, or uh, or I used to just uh, uh, call, uh, you know, or, or pop in and on the job or whatever it might be, and and she was so happy and thrilled about it. I I, I used to just I didn't always have to be asked to do X Y or Z. I find now that uh, uh, he asked me. Uh, or she asked me to do stuff that I used to do instinctively. I, I remember uh, when I used to uh, open the door for her or, or when I used to uh, uh, just, uh, just pat him on the back or give him a big hug out of nowhere, uh, just walk up to him and, and kiss him on the cheek or whatever it might be. Those things that uh, it took to get him or her, it takes to keep him. And uh, I would... Uh, suggest to you that you ponder and uh, think about those things that you used to do uh, and and think have I done those things lately and and even if I have am I doing them as regularly 
as I used to. And, uh, and then you uh, govern yourself accordingly. Amen. We'll see you next time.